Let's open a mystery box. Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new video where we are going to open the mystery box from Witch Baby Soap. They sent me a gift of all of these things, and I thought, why not? slice it open and show you guys what they got me because this is one of my all-time favorite natural bath soaps companies they do bath bombs bath soaps and everything smells like heaven and it's like creepy witchy themed and just like the packaging is so cute and just the scents are wonderful so i don't know what's in here and we are going to open it together today right now so let me make sure i do not slice my face open or the contents inside that'd be great and Let's see what's in here. Oh, these are the things that look like Cheetos, but like non-flavored ones. And oh, they got me a card. Oh, look at the mystical card with the wolf on it. And it says, may the world wonders and nature brighten your holiday season. We love you. Thank you for everything from Witch Baby Soap. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, it smells so great already. I can't wait. Now, this is the first time I am seeing this with you. That's why I wanted to open it on camera. First thing I see, oh, this is coming apart a little bit. But this is the Witch Berry Bath Bomb. Ooh, 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 it smells like candy and roses. This smells exactly like a bubble gum and gum drops with crushed roses, like dried old crushed roses. Does that make sense? It's very sparkly. It's like this beautiful rosy gold color. Witch berry bath bomb, it's called again. This is so pretty. I can't wait to put that in my bath. There's so many things, oh my gosh. I'm so glad I'm filming this, my first reaction to it. This is a bright green bath bomb that's also heart-shaped. I wonder if they're getting ready for Valentine's Day. That'd be so sweet. This is called Rain Sloan Balm. Rain, how do you say that? Lane, Rain Lane? If I figure it out, I'll put it in like a text. Maybe I won't be able to figure it out, but it's like red speckled with green. Ooh, this smells like fresh linens with like a little bit of sage and like nature. I can't explain it. It's like woodsy naturey with sage and linens. It smells like a log cabin inside of it, what it would smell like right on laundry day. It's just so gorgeous. I think this was one of the ones that has a symbol inside. They give this little thing in the little packet with it. They have like stones that have like symbols in it. I, I can't wait. This is gonna be so mystical. And with, it's like, this woodland cabin themed thing she's doing right now is just everything about my life. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. This is a snow and roses body scrub. I love the body scrubs. Clean, crisp, and floral. So I'm guessing, ooh, it's pink and it's floral. Oh my gosh. This smells like strawberry shortcakes with flowers. I wish I could eat it. It smells so good. Look at that color though. It's like a dusty pink. I'm usually not a fan of pinks, but if it's dusty rosy, I cannot wait to scrub this on my body. Oh my gosh. And I got this wolf moon body butter with the card. Uh, and it's like this light green. Reminds me of goosebumps and it's like frothy. Oh my gosh. This is like what it smells like after the rain with the light scent of men's cologne. It smells like a really expensive store that I shouldn't be allowed in because I might break in everything. So good. Wolf Moon. I cannot wait. Apple. Oh, it has apple in it. Apple pine and vanilla. So like apple wood forest with vanilla. Oh, it's so good. I like how my description doesn't even match that. <laughs> like apple pies in the woods. I would love to live in a log cabin one day and just like bathe in these every single day of my life as long as the log cabin is in the middle of nowhere on a lake and it has good Wi-Fi. That's the main thing. This is the first snow is like the first love. Do you remember your first snow? And oh, I feel so bad because you have to like destroy that beautiful quote to get in this box. I feel like I'm extracting things like a scientist with this very dangerous knife. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I've been looking forward to this. If you follow Witch Baby on the Snapchat, they were doing tests of these rose snow and rose bath bombs and it is gorgeous. It has so much sparkles on it and it looks like snow on top of roses. That's the thing. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast a little bit where she's in the snow like with the beast and I cannot wait. Of course, this smells like the fresh outdoors with roses and I cannot, oh, I'm so excited. This is like the best thing I've ever gotten from them. And I can't even say that because every the, the Halloween one, that last one, that was like last one. Oh my gosh, I'm spoiled to death. This is like Christmas all over again. This is a bright green bath bomb called Mischief Night. I've had this one before. This one's so good. Mischief Night is like one of my favorite scents. It's like Halloween candy, like right after you went trick-or-treating. And she also gave us 
Ooh, another Evil Dead bathroom. I have a funny story about this. Okay, I even told her about it. When I had that respiratory infection, I would take baths because I was told to take baths for like the breathing process. The steam from the bathtubs is supposed to loosen up mucus. That's so disgusting, mucus. I couldn't eat egg yolks for a month after that because you cough up mucus. So I'm not gonna even go there. But yeah, the respiratory infection was terrible. It lasts like a month or more, like a week, but like to get over it's forever. On long story short, I took a bath with this and there's like this bloody stuff in it. And when I got out, I thought my skin was literally bleeding and I'm allergic to everything. So I thought I was allergic to the medicine that I was taking for this sickness I had. And I thought my skin was bleeding and falling apart. So I almost went to the hospital, but then, you know, my friends know how dumb I am sometimes. It was actually Shane was like, excuse me miss, um, maybe you just took a bath bomb and are being dumb and the dye from the bath bomb is on your skin. So it was just the dye from this that made me think I was dying literally with blood on my skin. But I still love it. This is the Evil Dead bath bomb. <sighs> and it smells like men and linens. I think I've talked about this in the last haul. And they have another ghost face bath bomb. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I had this one last time too. I don't even remember what I told you it smelled like, but it does smell like candy. What are this? This is new. Ooh, I got a witch baby tote. Yes. Get naked, do witchcraft. That is so cute. You know, get naked for bathtubs and you do the witch baby soaps. That's so adorable. I cannot wait to, I'm gonna use this all the time. Even if it's in the grocery store and I feel embarrassed about nakedness all over speaking on this, I do not care. Oh my gosh, and the witch is sparkly and it's purple. Ooh, I love this. She always gives like free samples of things with like some of the orders and like with her card and like the next thing how much percent off you could get on your next order. And she gave me this little granite crystal stone. Excuse me. So pretty. And this really cool like stone. I know stones and crystals. A lot of people believe they have healing power. So I will surround it around my bathtub. And this very cute little mini sample of the blood and milk. Which is one of my favorite scents. Bath bombs. It's like a mini bath bomb. I've never seen a bath bomb this small. It looks like a Whopper candy. Like half a bloody Whopper. That sounds gross. And like something you don't want to get in your trick or treat bag. But that's what it reminds me of. Another thing she gave me getting ready for Valentine's Day is the Love Body Scrub. And I like it because it looks like curdled fake blood we use in special effects makeup. Oh my gosh, and there's actual like fruit seeds in it. And oh my gosh, it smells like literal fresh roses, flowers with like berries. Yeah, it's rose, apple, sugar. So fruit, roses, and sugar. I cannot wait to use that. And oh my gosh, look at this soap. This is the witch berry soap. It literally has like seeds from berries in it. I like how it's red and gold, like this gold sunburst. It literally looks like it's from another planet. Ooh, and it smells like perfume, like strawberry perfume. Does that make sense? Like fancy, sophisticated woman perfume with strawberries. That's all I could explain it. And another soap, this is like blue. It reminds me of like a galaxy and it has purples and sparkles and white and dark blue that almost looks black. It's called Gossip Slopper, Gossip Flopper. Go mm, I don't know how to say it, but it smells like, like musky. Like men, mix of flannel, kind of woodsy and manly, but not too strong. It's very clean at the same time. And this is the blood and milk bath bomb. I had this before and I absolutely love it. it. Smells like chocolate and coconuts and just everything lovely. Oh my gosh, a Krampus Krumpus. Some people say you're supposed to say Krumpus. This is the Krumpus soap. There's literally an image stamped inside of this. I love when she does this, like the images in the soaps. This smells very clean, just like vanilla or something. Oh my gosh, and a witch's tea soap. I've always seen this on their website. I never got it before. It says on Wednesdays we wear black. And it's literally from the coven from American Horror Story. Oh my gosh, the coven season. It's very clean as well. It smells a little bit like vanilla, but also like tea. Which, of course, because it's called witch's tea. And that was all in today's witch baby soap haul i hope you guys enjoyed opening this package with me you guys should definitely check out their website i'll link it down below they run out of product very fast because they're at home business one of the best customer services if you ever have questions you can email them about the products if you get them i always have done that in the past and she always gets right back to me even before she thought i had an instagram or anything so yeah literally one of my favorites if you have sensitive skin i've never broken out and i have one of the most sensitive skins on my planet it and I'm so happy that I could wear these because they smell so delicious. I love the themes. I love the whole theory behind it of like they have like the crystals and everything. I love the old timey packaging, just everything. It's my absolute favorite soap company of all time. And that's saying a lot. Leave me a comment down below on what product in this video that you would love to try out. And I love you guys and I will definitely see you soon.
Bye.